It's Friday, July 5th here in Seoul. Welcome to your daily news from Korea Now. I'm Debbie Wan. South Korea is warning that it will come up with corresponding measures against Japan's recent move to restrict exports of key materials affecting Seoul's semiconductor and smartphone industries. The move comes amid growing tensions between the two countries over the issue of compensation for South Korean victims of forced labor by Japan. South Korea has already mentioned that it will file a complaint with the World Trade Organization to resolve the matter. Then on Thursday, Seoul's finance minister Hong Nam-gi said the Seoul government will also consider various corresponding measures as it may take a long time for the WTO to come up with a verdict. Also on Thursday, South Korea's National Security Council said Japan's export curbs are in clear violation of international trade laws and called the move an apparent political retaliation. A senior Chongade official also said South Korea plans to explain its position to other countries that Japan's move is unfair and that it goes against the principles of free trade. Now, despite growing tensions between Seoul and Tokyo on the political front, things are looking a bit more positive on the cultural side with BTS setting new K-pop record in Japan. On Thursday, BTS's new Japanese album ranked number one on Japan's Oricon Daily Single chart just a day after its release. The new album, titled Light Slash Boy With Love, is the 10th Japanese single album by BTS, and it comes with a total of three tracks, including Light's a brand new BTS song in Japanese, plus the Japanese version of Boy With Love and Idol. And even before its release, the album hit 1 million copies in pre-sale, which was the biggest pre-sale amount by any K-pop artist in Japan. Meanwhile, BTS is about to kick off the Japanese leg of their world tour with a two-day concert in Osaka this Saturday and Sunday. Then the boys will have another round of concerts next weekend in Shizuoka from July 13th to the 14th. South Korean blockbuster Parasite has become the highest-grossing South Korean film shown in Vietnam of all time. The film, directed by Pong Joon-ho, surpassed 1.95 million U.S. dollars in ticket sales in Vietnam as of this Monday, breaking the former record of $1.86 million set by train to Busan in 2016. Parasite, which has become the first South Korean film to win the Palme d'Or, the highest prize at Cannes, has attracted more than 9.6 million viewers in South Korea so far. And those are your top stories for today. For full-length articles, you can check out our official website, link down below. As always, don't forget to subscribe to Korea Now for more daily updates.